miners Kevin Hoagland and Chris Hag are returning to the mine that they believe dates back to the time of the Aztecs to check the progress of their ventilation system. The system has been pumping in fresh air to dilute a pocket of carbon dioxide gas. Hey, I got bad gas in here. That they encountered in the pit. Back again. That's a precision built instrument right there. We got the blower going. We're hoping the mine's cleared out. We got to take readings all the way down. If it's all good, we're going to load the holes up and blow that wall down. Chris and I have been in a lot of mines over the years. Meter's good? Yep, meter's just beat. All right, brother. But not knowing what we're going to find, to me, is one of the most anticipated parts of all of this. Mm. Make it happen. Wish me luck. Looking at this wall that we know has a void on it, I think it's the first time that we've actually felt like we were truly in the right place at the right time. Today is the day. OK, I'm on the bottom. Give me some slack. Hey, Chris, give me a status. Let me take a reading. Still looks good. That thing's doing its job. Copy that. So I'm organizing my gear, getting ready to set this up to blast. I put these holes in a strategic pattern, so the blast should allow maybe in one shot entry into the cavity that's two feet back. Kevin and Chris will place blast rods into the holes. The small charges are coordinated to shatter the rock face, causing less shock to the surrounding tunnel than a traditional explosive would do. Hopefully, it'll take that wall down. Yeah, go ahead and get plugged in first. All right, take a seat. Let's do it. You ready? Let's go for it. Let's make big rocks, little rocks. Here goes nothing. Fire in the hole! All right, man. You good? Good. Getting Chris into the bottom of this decline, I'm like pins and needles right now. This could be a treasure room. It could be, but it could be nothing more than just geologic fault that's just collapsed on top of itself. Happens all the time in these mountains. OK, I'm at the bottom. Oh, man, the, the Sierra's worked. Took this whole wall down. It's like a chute in here. A rock. What do you mean a chute? This rock's so soft, it just all came down. Can you see behind the uh, blast area? Uh, I'm working my way there right now. I'm just checking this roof, because wow. Yeah. It opened it. From what Chris is describing, not only did the wall drop there, but there was a lot of material behind that as well that dropped. Makes it one of the deadliest places that you can be. OK, Kevin. I'm just really doing it slow here, trying to move some of this rock out of the way. I think I have a little hole. I'm going to look in here before I move anything else. Copy that as long as you're safe. All right, stand by. OK, I'm looking back here. It did go all the way through into that void. It looks like a vertical shaft back here. Just keep talking to me. Hey, hold on a second, Kevin. What is that? Hey, I, I see something on the on the floor here with this rock. Hold on a second. What the hell is that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna bag it up and bring it up to you. What'd you find? Uh, I'm not sure. I got a little hole here. I'm gonna open this up just a little bit more.
This stuff had to come from above. It didn't come from this side, it was completely sealed. And which means it's got to be a tunnel. Yeah, I've got two bags for you to look at. There's an actual vertical shaft there above our heads, but there's enough rock that can come down to really do some damage. So we can't enter. We're just gonna have to step back and figure out what we're gonna do with that. But until then, uh, I wanna figure out what this stuff is we found on the ground. Thank you guys for coming on such short notice. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Happy to try to help out. Well, we hope so. Kevin and Chris have called in archaeologists Lauren and Jessica Huddleston to shed light on what their recent discovery could mean about the rest of their mine shaft. With over 40 years of field experience researching artifacts and mines, the Huddlestons could provide valuable insight into their discovery. Uh, so we're 400 feet underground. We blasted through a solid rock wall, and it was an open cavity. There's rubble above us, so we're unsure what's up there yet, but what we found below is why we called you. We have three samples of some material that we found. We don't know how new, how old. Of course, they're really dusty. They've been sitting on the, the bottom of a mine shaft for we have no idea how long. It's incredibly intriguing. I will say that in the Great Basin, most preservation environments occur in caves, and that's where you would have cordage that might actually stay preserved this long. Well, this mine is sealed. Our biggest goal right now is to get an idea of a timeline. They've had specimens up to 12,700 years old. Um, so there's some antiquity to cordage in, in the Great Basin. You would generally not think of bringing down a wall as opening a door. Where are we going in time? It predates the Spanish. The twine is absolutely older than anything else that we found at this point. I think you guys have got a really intriguing find. Absolutely. That rubble pile, that's the biggest obstacle we've faced so far. I agree. It's above our head, it's dangerous. I want to get in there with the snake camera and see if I can get through that rubble and see what's in there. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. I cannot wait. There is more. There is more down there. OK, give me a little bit more slack. Chris and Kevin have returned to the pit in the mine. OK, I'm at the bottom. They have a plan to get a better look inside the hole that they blasted into the wall. OK. This is a snake cam. I can reach up into very tight areas, like a periscope through the rock, and just see how much rock is there and then how big this tunnel is. Uh, I'm seeing I'm seeing some black space up here. I made it through the rock. I don't know how much. This is about eight feet. Let me rotate left here. There's another tunnel. Wait, this is a there's a three-way intersection right above this rock. There's three tunnels. Repeat that last part again. Uh, there's a three-way intersection right above this rock. What are you talking about? There's a tunnel system up there. I'm going to pull this camera and head up. You got to see this. Pull up the slack. Copy that. Poking through this wall is literally just like a whole new adventure for us. I mean, this is a whole new chapter in our research. Holy hell. It's a three-way intersection right there above the rock. Oh, my god. Seeing that shaft that's above us and going in three different directions has opened up a whole new world for us. Once we remove that rubble, we're going to be stepping into a time machine. 